Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregate news show on YouTube. Look, look, look. It's going to be smoking, swearing, and drinking on here. If you don't like those things, leave now because they're coming. Three, two, one. Bang! Welcome, everyone. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, and we have a great show for you today. All right. So, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the European Union. Here they come. Wow. Let me calm down. I don't want to get too excited right here, but... All right, so there's been an EU blockchain group that has been launched. Uh, big names are in it. Big stuff is going down, and I'm going to explain that to you. Looks like the EU is finally trying to get themselves together. We know that Germany has their thing, right? And we know that, uh, you know, France wants to be the ICO, blah, blah, blah. Well, the boss of the EU, the EU commissioner, that's, in other words, like here in America, that would be our president. Yeah, he's like, fuck all that. I want to gather a bunch of these crypto nerds and I want to get this thing done for the country, for EU. Well, I know they try to pretend it's not EU. It's the United States of Europe, though. And so, bang, we're going to talk about that. And <coughs> Bitcoin and Litecoin futures soared the other day. This is sort of a story about what happened, um, how the money came, um, how how we got that big, uh, you know, how we had the big price moves this week. And... Um, so I kind of believe this one. Um, you guys know, like I gave you my little theory. My theory is not the right one. That if we, had, if it was an exchange that had opened and their whales had come through, we would have heard about it already. So my theory was wrong. Uh, I'm more leaning towards actually this theory right now. And then, uh, and then we're back over in Europe again. New crypto exchange traded products, Litecoin and Ripple, XRP coming on. So we're going to talk about that. All right, guys. So let's do how we do. We go bang yes and then we go bang yes and then we refresh all right 49.75 on the bitcoin so it looks like we're stabilizing let's see how it goes over the weekend right let's see if we stay down here and stabilize not stabilize or consolidate you know maybe between four eight and five on the bitcoin uh that'd be reasonable i think makes sense uh, guys, so uh, top 10 earners of the day, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin Cash, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Binance Coin, Stellar, Cardano, and Tether. Bang. All right. Let's look at the top. Oh, sorry. Let's look at the market moves of the day. Excuse me. Uh, single digits up to single digits down. 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 All right, let's see who went down today. Top loser of the day. Let's see what's on sale. But, all right, top 10 loser of the day. Aurora, Dogecoin, Revane, Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin Cash, Augur, Elastos, Chainlink, Ardor, and ABBC Coin. All right, let's see who made money today. I saw a few big greens. Yeah, there we go. Maximine Coin, 63%. All right, top 10 earners of the day. Maximine Coin, Pundix, Mixin, Project Pi, Cubitica, Theta, Bitcoin Diamond, Engine Coin, Bitcoin Gold, Electronium, and it. Oh, and Electronium. All right, that's the top 10. All right, let's look at the market overall. 174 market cap today, and we have a $62 billion volume. So yesterday we were at 82 volume, so we went down 20 billion today. Yeesh. Down 20 billion today. And uh, yeah. All right. And that's the, how that goes. So guys, let's get to the stories of the day. Bye. EU blockchain group launches with Swift and Ripple on board. Pfft, way more. Why do they always just, just say it launches? You know, you don't have to mention any. So Swift is part of it. Uh, IBM is part of it. L'Oreal Perfume Company is part of it. Uh, it's huge. There's hundreds of people. It's not just a couple of companies. Like, come on, Fox Sticks. All right. So EU Blockchain Group. And oh, and so what I want to explain to you is this. So this group is being launched by the EU Commission. The EU Commission is the executive branch of the European Union. <clears throat> you know, the executive branch is, the, uh, you know, the president. Here in America, 
the president and his cabinet members. Well, that's the executive branch, motherfucker. And so that's the equivalent of what's happening here. The executive branch has launched this group here. So it's like the president saying, yo, you know, uh, get me some crypto nerds because I want to get America blockchained up. Right? That's basically what's going on here. All right. That's why I'm bringing this up. <clears throat> Swift, IBM, and Ripple and around 100 other firms. So it's huge. Lots of companies are part of this. I uh, have joined a new blockchain association to promote adoption of the technology across the European Union. A European Union... A European Commission initiative. So the European Commission, remember, that's our executive branch. That's the president and his cabinet members, okay? So a European Commission initiative, the new group, the International Association of Trusted Blockchain Applications, INA, TBA, is launching Wednesday in Brussels, Belgium. That was yesterday. <clears throat> well, two days, I guess, because now you're going to listen to this on a Friday. Um, INA TBA has been set up as a global multi-stakeholder forum. All the stakeholders are going to talk. Aimed to bring together developers and users of blockchain technology to promote mainstream adoption across multiple sectors. They want it. You know, let's go. Uh, the association plans to build a framework to encourage public and private sector collaboration, dialogue with regulators and policy with regulators and policymakers and legal predictability, regula regulatory clarity, as well as ensure integrity and transparency in blockchain infrastructures. Um, it will also develop guidelines and specifications for blockchains and distributed ledger-based applications. All right. Uh, the group also includes uh, other notable members, including banks such as Barclays, bang, and BBVA, bang, Consultancy firm Accenture, yes. And French beauty product giant L'Oreal. There you go, ladies. L'Oreal's part of it. Yes. Uh, a number of blockchain startups are on board as well, such as Ethereum Development Studio Consensus AG, uh, block tech firm, blockchain tech firm Bitfury, enterprise blockchain firm R3, cryptocurrency hardware wallet maker Ledger, and cryptocurrency protocol developer IOTA. Bye. Yes. Mm. The formation of INA TBA has been in the public arena about for some months. Anyway, Carlos Chukovsky, BBVA's head of research and development for new digital business, said in November that the association could have an important role to play in terms of developing blockchain best practices and standard and avoiding fragmentation on a European level. Exactly. Right? That's what's going on here in America, right? Here in America, what do we have right now? We have, you know, New York. They have their law. You know, California. They have their crypto law. Wyoming, we read about, right? They have their crypto law. Colorado, they have their crypto law. Yeah, they're all different. You know, Coinbase is only allowed to offer certain coins in certain states even. Yeah, man, that's called fragmentation. We need a federal law. In other words, from the federal government, from our executive branch well signed by the executive branch into law that blankets the whole country that gives us a countrywide law right right now we're fragmented and that's what the europeans are saying uh, i guess the president of europe was like yo fuck all this because you know right now <clears throat> we read about it last year right stuttgart the germans yeah they said bang 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 we're gonna offer end-to-end -end solutions right and then the french came along and they were like look 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 we're gonna help you ico guys right um, who else? Six back, uh, six in um, Switzerland. Their stock exchange is doing things. But you see, they're all, it's fragmented. It should be the whole European Union. I know the Europeans like to pretend they're not one country, but you're just the United States of Europe now, kids. And so you need the <clears throat> European-wide rules and regulations now. And now uh, that'll bring in everything. And the same here in America. Like we need, that's what we need, that, the rule book, right? This fragmentation shit. You know, it's, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to, you know, the institutions aren't going to arrive uh, properly, you know. All right, so that's what that is, all right. So the Brussels launched today. 
We'll see seven European Commission officials speaking, including Maria Gabriel, Commissioner for the Digital Economy and Society. So, you know, that's like, say, if, 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 if here, in Amer- here in America we had a Secretary of Digital Economy and Society. Well, she's speaking at the event, and she'll provide the keynote speak- speech. There will also be panels. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Uh, such as a discussion of the potential of blockchains. Um, a joint declaration of support for members is also being recorded on different blockchains at the event. Oh, all right, they're going to put their communique on a blockchain. Great. A little gimmick. Um, the European Commission has launched a number of initiatives to promote the adoption of blockchain technology. Last spring, it formed the European Blockchain Partnership, the EBP. <clears throat> along with 22 member countries, to support the delivery of cross-border digital public services based around the tech. Uh, The Commission also set up the EU Blockchain Observatory and Forum with consensus as its member last February. All right, bang. Well, this is great. Why this is so great? It shows that the head, you know, the head. This is like as if here in America, Donald Trump was like, yo, go grab me some crypto nerds. I want to get this thing for the whole country. You know what I mean? Well, not just crypto nerds. I mean, all right, let's, you know, a bunch of stakeholders. There you go. That's all right. Say it properly, Shamar. Yes. Let's get some stakeholders in here and let's get some regulation and let's get it done right. And let's make this thing official on the federal level. So perfect. All right. That is perfect. That means the Europeans are coming on. Well, I mean, they're planning to. I don't know, man. For some reason, I think Europe and America, I don't think we're going to be fully live until next year. I think we'll approve an E, like here in America, I think we'll approve probably an ETF and and the futures. Um, Because, I mean, come on, man. I think, come on. We figured out price, price discovery, price manipulation, proper price discovery, fair price discovery. So, but in terms of like the full rule book, I don't know. I don't see that till next year, man, because these guys are just not doing fuck all. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Oh, we read all of it. So then, bang, bang, guys, there, there it is. But the EU, though, <clears throat> bang, their president said, bang, bring me some people. Let's get this thing done federally. So I still think it'll take about a year, but at least they're on the way. I'd like to hear Trump say something like that. Like, hey, guys, I'm going to, you know, we got this new thing, blockchain. I think it's great. Let's gather some crypto guys and let's do this thing. All right, guys, so you're up. Bang, you're on the way. Boom. Nice. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> All right. Oh, this thing. And so, okay, so this is a uh, story. This guy is sort of talking about why he thinks the price of Bitcoin went up. And I don't really give a fuck about his theory. I mean, I do. I do give a... I, I'm a Forex trader. I always want to know where that money come from, but... <laughs> But really, I want to bring this up to you just to show you that Bitcoin and uh, there's the volumes are soaring. Futures prices are are happening, right? Um, uh, Sorry, not futures prices. Futures contracts are being used nicely. All right. So Bitcoin futures had a strong start on Tuesday as the CBOE and CME April contracts increased by over 16 percent. Bye. To 4805. And that's I kind of believe. I kind of agree with this guy's assessment of what drove the price higher. So check this out. In note to Barron's, Gabor Gubax, a digital asset strategist at Van Eck, said he believes Bitcoin's recent price spike to its highest level since November 2017. He said it was, he thinks it was triggered by the futures market. I am, I I like this. I am agreeing a little bit. Um, CME Bitcoin, so this is his explanation, was that the CME futures expired last Friday. Right, last Friday we were at what three nine, remember? I was saying, hey guys, yeah, I think we'll float around three nine four one for the next little right. Um, but he said a large chunk of the positions were rolled buying into the next front month for BTC futures contract. So basically, the traders, yeah, they made their money off the contract and then they just put it back in. They took the profits and their old money and re-upped. Um, and over the week. So over the weekend, oh, and over the weekend, heavy spot Bitcoin and over-the-counter buying followed the Bitcoin futures contract expiration, 
pushing Bitcoin price up slowly and gradually. As the price move up in increments, over 500 million shorts have been liquidated on leveraged crypto derivatives trading platforms around the world. So remember I told you guys the stop hunting thing? Yeah. All those guys were shorting Bitcoin. Yeah, well, as it, so you're shorting, so your stop is up here, right? The price is here, your shorts up, uh, your stop is here. Well, as price turned, bang, they got stopped out. And so other guys have their shorts in different increments. And bang, 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 they're stopped out. They said that, wait, where is that? <laughs> That's a brutal beating down. Beat down, 500 million shorts got liquidated. And they were on leveraged derivative exchanges. So when you're leveraged, oh, you're running away like a motherfucker, right? Because you're leveraged. I explained to you what leverage was before. Look up leverage. So Bitcoin surged over 70% reaching as high as 5,100 on Tuesday, followed by a widespread altcoin rally uh, with double-digit gains. Bitcoin is currently trading at five grand at time of writing, according to data compiled by CoinMarketCap. Um, trading volumes in altcoin futures. Oh, and this is the part that I want to tell you about. This is what attracted me. Trading volumes of altcoin futures, including Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin, have also experienced Higher growth in recent weeks. Crypto Facilities, a subsidiary of San Francisco-based crypto exchange Kraken, reports trading volume of 150 million for its crypto derivatives products. Now check this shit out right here. Before Crypto uh, Facilities was acquired by Kraken, its Litecoin futures contracts had an average notional volume of 15 million a month. So this Bitcoin, wait, Crypto Facilities, 15 million a month. And its Bitcoin Cash contract volumes are roughly 10 billion a month. But let's see what happened last month. Last month's volumes soared, reaching 100 million for Litecoin and 50 million for Bitcoin Cash, respectively. Uh, and so, in an interview with CoinDesk, Sui Chung, head of the indices and pricing products at Crypto Facility, says, we began to onboard Kraken users, and that's basically given us better exposure to the communities around Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. And I think what we're seeing is those communities have a pretty strong interest in trading derivatives for Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash, respectively. Based in London, crypto facilities is regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. According to Chung, uh, customer demand for regulated crypto futures <clears throat> that pay out in the underlying assets. What kind of futures do we want, brothers? And that's what we saw. What kind of futures? That pay out in what? Physically settled futures. Physically settled. According to Chung, custom wait, 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 settle down, Shamari. According to Chung, customer demand for regulated futures that pay out in the underlying cryptocurrency. In other words, physically settled are driving the market. Bang! And that's what we need. We need physically settled futures, man. That's where the money, that's where we get our money. Scarcity creates scarcity. And when more demand, more scarce, prices go up. Right? Like this week. Shmoy, man. But if they're not going to use my coin, how's, how's, how's the price going to go up? Well, genius is. <laughs> fucking morons. Look. Do you see how the prices all went up this week? Well, not today, but they all went up this week, right? Yeah. Was your, was your coin all of a sudden used any more this week than it was last Friday? No, you idiot. What happened this week? Demand happened. Bang. Hold on. Let me even just go like this. Demand happened. Okay. Volume happened. <laughs> okay. A spike in volume happened. Yeah. That's why your crypto went up this week. Huh? All of you guys. Your crypto went up this week, right? Yeah. Why? Did anyone start using your token anymore? <laughs> no. Did you guys all of a sudden, every single coin, just get some brand new amazing partnership and everyone you started using that token more? No. Demand. Demand. Money came in the market. Drove prices up. Okay. Do you understand? Shmore, I don't get it. But if they don't use the coin. It's just a stock. It's just a stock, guys. Okay. Don't. You know, don't rattle your brains with the words cryptocurrency, okay? These are stocks. More money comes in, the price goes higher. Done, right? Did someone start using Litecoin more this week? Yeah, it's at 87 bucks right now. It was at like 30-something a couple weeks ago. 
Was there some magical Litecoin usage? No. But what was there? Demand for it. Do you get it? All right, fuck sticks. Why is it, well, they don't use the coin? How are they going to go up? Look, retard. Settle down. So. And also, but. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. And then, so why I also bring that up is, you're right. So back to you normal, guys. So bang, scarcity. And so look at the demand that came in. And then we got scarcity. Bang. That's a double whammy. Nice for us. Nice for us. It was nice for us, and it continues to be nice for us. All right. So I think there was always demand for these commod for those commodities for a strong derivatives contract that is collateralized and paid out in the coin, in the underlying asset, because there are contracts in other markets where the base asset is Litecoin, but they pay out in Bitcoin. Our contracts are paid out in Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. All right. Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's the other thing, but anyway, whatever. In February, after the Kraken acquisition, crypto facilities reported that $1 billion in Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash futures were traded on its platform. Bang, so Kraken bought these guys in. Smart move for Kraken. They made a lot of money. And uh, yeah, everything's exploding, exploding. So that's what made the price go up. It's called demand. Duh. Not because the coin... No, because all of a sudden, last Monday, everyone magically started using your fucking coin, did they? Did they? Did they? All of a sudden, they used, they magically used it? Is that why it went up? Fucking idiot. No, because demand went up. Money came into the market. And that's why I tell you when I say you will be rich, that there are hundreds of billions of dollars coming into this market. That's going to drive price up. Demand. All right, genius. Yes. Bye. All right, finally. Oh, this shit. All right. So there's a new XRP and Litecoin exchange traded product launching for EU investors. So EU, and that's what I mean. The EU, they seem to be just doing stuff, right? Like well, Germany's doing, like we said, it's a fragmented market. Germany's doing stuff. France is doing stuff. Uh, Switzerland is doing stuff. Like they're all doing kind of their own things. And that's why I read that story to you about the EU commission wanting to make a federal law. Um. But uh, look, people aren't going to wait around, right? And so here we go. Bang, bang, ripple lovers. Not that it's... Uh, anyway, whatever. A subsidiary of Boyd Stuttgart. Bang, the Germans! The second largest stock exchange in Germany has announced plans to launch XRP and Litecoin exchange-traded products for investors in the European Union. According to the announcement, Nordic growth market, NGMAB, and Authorized stock exchange will list the offering. Authorized stock exchange. Not some little crypto exchange, but an authorized stock exchange. Will list the offerings through Swedish-based issuer XBT provider, uh, which is owned by CoinShares. Um, the listings mark the first time investors in the EU are given access to Litecoin through a traditional regulated exchange alongside other traditional investments such as equities and derivatives equities, stocks. At the end of this week, XBT provider will list exchange-traded products <clears throat> with Litecoin and Ethereum as underlying assets at NGM. Litecoin will start trading on April 4th, which was a couple days ago by the time you're watching this, yesterday by the time you're watching this, and April 5th right now as you're watching this. Um, ETPs, I think, I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not really, I've never heard of that. That's a European thing, but because they call them exchange traded products. I'm wondering, do they mean an exchange traded fund? Would that be the equivalent here in America? Well, I'm going to look it up actually tonight. I'm interested. So, uh, an XRP exchange traded product issued on the Swiss stock exchange 6 through Amon AG made its debut on Tuesday. Wow. So, you got another XRP ETP going on in Switzerland. So, according to XBT provider, each tracking certificate will be hedged one to one with the underlying asset. LTC and XRP. So I guess you're going to buy this thing and it's going to be pegged to the price of Litecoin and XRP. The collaboration with NGM is XBT Provider's second venue for cryptocurrency listings. The company launched Bitcoin and Ether, Ether tracking products on the NASDAQ Stockholm Exchange what? in 2015 and 2017 respectively. Oh, they've been doing this for a minute. <laughs> All right. 
These products currently comprise more than $374 million of invested assets. All right. Uh, Managing Director of XBT provider Laurent Cassis says, Swedish and European investors have access to two new crypto assets in euros and Swiss kronas. SEK is a Swiss krona. Uh, Litecoin and XRP on a regulated exchange. Regulated. That means institutions aren't going to be afraid to come on in and get a piece. We believe these trackers are the right vehicle for the financial markets to obtain exposure to crypto assets through what? Bank. Trusted brokers. That's what brings in the bank institutional investors. That's why our investors can't come. That's why the European investors can't come. That's why the UK's brothers can't come. Oh, hey, when those London boys get here this summer, it's going to be good. That's why no one can come because they got to be regulated. All right? All right. <sighs> soon, brothers. Soon, soon, soon. All right, and that's the story. All right, so that's the show. Bye. All right, let's get back to why. All right, so on, let me talk about this for a second. So, yeah, guys, so, you know, it gives exposure to XRP and Litecoin, but, but um, you know, it, it's on a regulated, what would they say? It was a regulated exchange. Right. This isn't just some this isn't some thing on like, you know, Binance or any of these kind of stupid little, you know, crypto exchanges. This is a real one, a real exchange. Yeah. Yeah. The Nasdaq stock. Oh, wait. Is that the right? The, the company. I guess it is. Is that it? Is that the one they were talking about? But anyways, real exchanges, you know, like proper. So anyways, guys, good for me. XRP. Bang. Good for crypto. Bang, good for Litecoin. Bang, good for all of us to bring, you know, legitimacy and let people see that it's safe to bring your billions of dollars. Come on, bring them on in, boys. Oh, whales, we're having a, oh, we're just a friendly bunch. Come on in, whales. <laughs> no, no, we're not going to make you pay your premium. Come on in, whales. <laughs> all right, guys, here come these whales. Get ready to get them. <laughs> Bang, look, look. All right, brothers, let's just get you. I'm being silly. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. All right, I'm being silly. Actually, I'll tell you the... All right, fuck all that. So what is this? All right, so first of all, Binny Man, Binny Am. Bang, see you, brother. What's he saying here? Fenbushi Capital, DMVGL, Future Cab, Dragon Dragon. Oh, Draper Dragon found out who's Tim Draper. Brayer Capital, I mentioned this company on the Circle Exchange message I sent to you two days ago. Just look at the portfolios. Circle, Facebook, Ethereum. What are you trying to say? Anyways, brother, VeChain investors up to now. Oh, the VeChain investors you're trying to show. Oh, pff, there's a lot more than that. <laughs> I know about that. Yeah. Yeah, VeChain. We, oh, let me give you a like on that. Bang, brother. All right. All right. Let's see who else we got. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, try to run away. Where are you going? Where are you going? Gotcha. Bang, bang, bang. Nice try, buddy. Got you, Ronkers. <laughs> <laughs> bang love you brother all right bitcoin gong bang see you brother crypto Irwin b bang see you brother oh zilica you said hey, you know what i have a story for you for you cardano lovers today man but the fucking story wouldn't open up in my chrome browser it opens up in my uh internet explorer browser but it doesn't open up in chrome but all this stuff here is configured to show you what's on my chrome so i couldn't do the story cardano lovers you guys are going to get you guys are going to be able to stake your stuff and you're going to get coins. Don't worry, man. I'm going to find that story. And I, uh, that opens up. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Oh, shit. Hold on. Sorry. And um, yeah, man, you guys are going to you guys are going to get to stake in a pool. Pool staking. Anyway, man, I'll read it to you. Don't worry. I'll find it for you. All right. Come on. Kyla. Uh, <laughs> Why did you got to make the name so long now, girl? Kala J, Blockchain, Stanley and Oliver. Bang, see you, girl. Yo, you said your grandparents and your mom and everyone watched this? Come on, really? I mean, if they don't mind, but come on, it's a little embarrassing, you know? Usually when I meet people's grandparents and family, I try to behave myself. You know? I don't like the older generation seeing me behaving like a jackass like this. They're not going to understand. <laughs> anyway, girl, love you. Bang. Looking good. All right. Ice H Investments, bang, see you, brother. Justin Sun, soul brother number one, bang, see you, brother. Carlito, bang. What's he saying about V-Chain? V-Chain also stepping out into the world of fashion. Oh, we read that yesterday, yeah. 
All right, all right, all right. Everybody, is that everybody? Dino, bangs, you, brother. What do we got? Two new, two new subscribers, or what do you call these followers? Shrimpy, automate your cryptocurrency portfolio strategy. Dedicated tools for asset allocation, rebalancing, and backtesting. Unified exchange API for crypto trading. Bang, see you, Shrimpy. Oops, where we are down here. Crypto bubbles. Now with interactive... Oh, this is the thing Poppy would sent me, this crypto bubbles thing. <laughs> this is silly. Bang, see you, crypto bubbles. <laughs> You're not silly, but just... I was like, what the fuck? Boom. See... Boom. It was better when it had the big splash from the ship, though. Boom. But we'll take it. Boom today. Because today was maybe a, a smaller splash. Boom. All right. Who do we got? Uh, that's everybody, huh? Oh, there's Poppy. Poppy would bang. See you, brother. Oh. And fucking Hurricane Masta. What the fuck, dog? <laughs> so, her brothers, Hurricane Masta won't be with us on Twitter anymore. So you know how he got his account? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, buddy? He got his account suspended in like February. Well, uh, apparently he says now <laughs> he's permanently banned from Twitter. So anyways, though, Hurricane Masta, bang! <laughs> Find a way to get another account and fucking stop doing whatever weird stuff you're doing to get in trouble like that, man. What the hell? Because, I mean, there are people doing some really bad stuff on Twitter. So for you to get kicked off, look, look, I don't judge, brother. You know, make your money, do whatever you got to do. I'm not saying that, but just, fuck, settle down <laughs> so we can talk to you at least. Make one account for doing your dirt and then just have your account to talk with us, hang out with the brothers, okay? <laughs> Shit. All right, brother. You know you're still part of the brotherhood. Always. You're still here with us. Bang. All right. What do we got? DP Entertainment. Bang. Beat him in again. Bang. That's everybody. Who's this purple one here? World trade stocks. Information is power. You're sure right it is. Bang. You get the information, let you hold it will not be a weekend. Uh, Wall Street, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Tronix, News, New York, New York, Coins, New York, New York, Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, blah, 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 blah. See you, brother. Bang. All right. Oh, and there's Poppy. All right, we'll leave it here with Poppy surfing the wave. Yay! Wee! <laughs> Yay! All right, brothers, let's get you back to your wives. Bang and lives. Bang. All right. So, guys, we had a good show today. Really good show, actually. So, that's amazing. The European Union, and that's the European Commission. So, that's like the President of America telling his secretary of whatever, whatever, I want some fucking crypto regs. Go gather me some tech people. And let's figure it out. Do you understand it? Let's figure it out. So that's really good stuff. I mean, you know, these things take time. So, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I think the EU and America, I don't think we're going to be along until next year, to tell you the truth, man. I don't think we're going to be along until next year. The UK said they're coming on this summer. Uh, Vladimir, he's told his Russians to get him ready for this summer. But as far as the EU and America, I'm not sure we're going to make it this year. I'm not sure. I mean... I think we might, the SEC might uh, approve, maybe, I think we're going to get our ETF and, S and uh, futures approvals, but in terms of like the full rule book, nah, I don't think, like like how our, our, na our championship nations have done it, like, yo, yeah, yeah, we're fully ruled and we have the regulations and all that, I don't think this year, but we're going to get to play, and that's all that matters, as long as a little money gets in here, well, a bunch of money, we're good. And then Bitcoin and Litecoin futures soar. And that's what I wanted to show you. It wasn't really the thing about the futures market. That's why the Bitcoin price went up. Although I do agree with what that guy says. These short sellers got stopped out and they become the weak hands once, thing goes, once prices go long. Short means you're buying something to go down. You make money when it goes down. Long means you make money when it goes up. Well, all those short sellers, bang, 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 they got their stops blown and now they're the weak hands. And... Uh, I don't know, I kind of agree with it, but what I like about that story was that, holy, did you see the the Litecoin and, 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 and Bitcoin and, and XRP things soared when Kraken bought that one place, and so, you know, that's good stuff. And then the new eco, e, uh, crypto ETPs launched. We need some more of those to, and on a regulated exchange 
So bang, the institutional investors, well, at least the European ones are going to feel safe. They're going to get on in there and they're going to buy, 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 and we'll be good to go. So yeah, so that's the show, guys. So let's chill and kill. Let's get back to wives' lives. Guys, look, bangs. Uh, what the hell? Looking all sloppy over here. Um, hmm. All right, guys. So uh, subscribe below. Press the bell. You get automatic updates. I love doing this for you. It's my favorite time of the day. <clears throat> uh, look, my name is Shamar Clark. I'm always on duty. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to try to get for the Cardano hodlers. I'm going to try to get that thing for you guys. I mean, you know what I'll do? Tonight, I'll post the link to the story in the descriptions of the video, okay? And so I'll, you don't have to wait till tomorrow. But I'm not going to lie. I am going to talk about it probably if I can, if I can get it to work or something tomorrow. I mean, so you're going to get a double dose. But go learn and read, and it tells you all about how you're going to get your free tokens, all right? And then it's a good article, what I'm going to post. Like, it gives you dot, 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 how to get your shit, all right? And so I'm going to post that for you guys. All right. So, guys, my name is Shamari Clark. Love you all. Try to help you out. Try to keep you posted. Try to keep you safe. Bang. Shamari Clark. Bang. Always on duty. Over and out.